Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this uh, tutorial, I'd like to uh, show you how to modify the player skins that come with um, Adobe Captivate 6. Uh, so I've got my presentation open up right now, and what I want to do is go up to my Themes button up at the very top menu, and we're going to go to the Skin Editor. And uh, once again, what I'm going to do is modify um, the actual player controls that wrap around the presentation. Usually it's just on the bottom of your presentation, but I'd like to just show you how to make a few modifications to that. And here it is right here, just giving you a quick preview of what we're actually going to modify. And this is the play bar right down here. Um, first thing I just want to show you that Captivate has some pre-made kind of themes that you can choose from that are modified just slightly from one another. Um, Cut buttons are changed, um, and the colors are changed. So you can kind of pick one that you like, or just stick with the Captivate default. And I'm just going to choose the default right now and show you how you can actually modify this to uh, fit your needs better. Uh, one cool thing is you can actually change the colors of everything on all every element on that play bar. And what you'll do is actually choose this little checkbox, the playback colors, and you can go and select the colors that that you want. You can change the background color, uh, the button face, and the glow that goes around the button when you hover over it. There's a slight glow there. And the icon itself, change that to white. And there you go, you can modify it like that. You can also come right down here and uncheck the boxes that you, the, or the buttons, that you don't want to show. So if you don't want the fast forward or the mute button um, or a play button, you know, you just choose which ones you want. Maybe you just want a forward and back button and a close button, and that's all you want. So that's kind of a nice uh, little tip there of how to turn those buttons off. One really cool thing that I like to do is sometimes I like to, I don't know, try to modify the style and the feel of that play bar, and uh, I wanted to actually wrap it all the way around my course. So I went to this little borders icon. If you didn't see that, I'm going to go back here. You'll see a little borders um, icon you can click on. I'm going to click that, and then you can actually turn on the left, right, bottom, top um, little boxes here, and you'll see that it's actually wrapping around my presentation now. And if I want to do something really cool, I can actually change the colors here to match um, what I already did below. So now I can have this purple box that goes around my whole presentation. It kind of wraps it nice and visually just kind of adds a nice border, a nice design element. Um, you can change it from rounded to square if you like. Um, I'm going to stick with the rounded. And then you'll also notice that there's an HTML background color. So if you want to change that background color, um, you can modify that right here as well. Go with the darker gray. Um, and that's really how you modify the, uh, the play bar. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pause the video and do a quick publish so you can see what this course looks like um, in its final state. Alright, and here it is in the, uh, the published state. Um, this is just the preview state actually within Captivate. But you see the corner here is my darker HTML color that would actually fill the entire screen and my presentation is playing there with my purple play bar. Not that I'd really have purple, but hopefully that gives you an idea of how you could modify your own player, um, your own player skin to uh, fit your needs. And uh, that's a, just a quick Captivate 6 tip for you. Hopefully this helps you. Thanks.